creamy and decadent, quick but delicious. It's spaghetti cacio e pepe, a classic Roman dish. In this video, we'll show you how to make foolproof pasta cacio e pepe, the authentic Italian way. We'll share with you the secrets for creating the perfect cacio e pepe every time. With a rich, velvety sauce, no cheese clumps, and of course, no heavy cream. Cominciamo! The authentic recipe for cacio e pepe has just three ingredients. Pecorino romano, black pepper, and pasta. We'll start by freshly grinding the pepper. For this task, you can use the traditional mortar and pestle, which is a bit more labor-intensive, or an adjustable pepper grinder. Either way, we're looking for a combination of medium coarse and fine pepper. Once the process is finished, it's time to cook the pasta. We'll cook the pasta in two phases. First, we'll cook the pasta halfway in the pot, then finish cooking it in the pan with pepper-infused water. We cook the pasta in less water than normal, resulting in a water that is rich in starch from the pasta. We'll then use the starchy water to make our sauce. The rule of thumb is to use two cups of water for every four ounces of pasta. As for the salt, the amount you add will depend on the saltiness of the pecorino cheese you have selected. Since pecorino cheese is salty, add less salt than normal to the pasta water or none at all. You can always add salt to the finished pasta if you like but you can take it back if it's too much. While the pasta is boiling, we toast the pepper in a skillet. Toast the pepper over very low heat, just until you can smell its peppery fragrance. Be careful not to overheat the pepper or toast it too long, otherwise you risk intoxicating the kitchen and burning the pepper. Usually it'll take about a minute. When the pepper is toasted, add three ladles of pasta water to the skillet and simmer over very low heat to infuse the water with the pepper. We let it go until the boiling pasta has cooked halfway in the pot. Don't forget to subscribe and to get notifications about our next video, click the bell. Time to transfer the pasta to the pepper infused water. We add one to two ladles more of pasta water and continue cooking the pasta for the rest of the cooking time. Save the rest of the pasta water, we still need it. In the meantime, we'll prepare the pecorino cream. The secret to creating the perfect pecorino cheese sauce is to follow these two rules. Use the right ratio of cheese to water, which is 2 to 1, and make sure the water you add to the cheese is not too hot. These are the secrets to avoiding strings, clumps, and fat separation. We start by creating a thick paste. The finished paste will have a consistency much like the ricotta cheese. Add warm pasta water to the cheese. Remember, we want the 2 to 1 ratio. So for our serving size, that is 7 ounces of pecorino cheese, we add 3.5 ounces of water, or about a ladle. If you don't have a thermometer, just let the pasta water cool in a cup for a minute and then add it slowly to the cheese and mix it quickly. Using warm but not hot water will ensure the cheese does not melt into a clumpy, gooey mess. When the pasta is cooked al dente, remove the skillet from the heat and wait about a minute. This ensures that the pasta is not too hot for the pecorino.
And finally, add the pecorino paste. Using a pair of tongs, vigorously mix the cheese with the pasta until you have created a beautiful creamy sauce that hugs each strand of pasta. Mm. Our pecorino sauce is already coming together perfectly. No clumps, no strings. Just a perfect velvety crema. We will keep stirring until it's not runny anymore, but nice and creamy. And here it is. The sauce is now at the right consistency and ready to play. Finish with a sprinkle of fresh pecorino and pepper. Simply delicious. By following these simple steps, you make the perfect pasta cacio e pepe every time. We no heavy cream and no starch added. And remember to eat it immediately. E buon appetito! If you learned anything in this video, or at least found it entertaining, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. However, if you did not learn anything and didn't find this video entertaining, feel free to hit the thumbs down button twice. Subscribe for more authentic recipes like this, from Italy and beyond. But I know for sure the day will come when you first realize what you have done and you finally get your depth repeat and revenge just served on a cold plate, oh yeah, on a cold plate.